Hi everybody, this is Dylan here. Living Aboard with Chihuahua Story 10, Episode 29, Sub, Part 1, Beginning Part 1. The dogs are thanking Auntie Donna for allowing them to come and stay. And they and they she they the dogs tell Auntie Donna that they, they didn't get rid of Apophis, but that Barney Trask and Chiba have a plan to do so. Ciao. From Ella Taco and Wolfie. Woof woof. Auntie Donna, we just wanted to say thanks for having us at your place. We sure had a good time while we were there. We're sorry that we didn't get rid of that troublemaker, Apophis. But don't worry, Barney, Sheba and Trask have a plan. We're sure they'll get them this time. Yep, and Arf are getting more settled by the day. They have cleaned out every room in the mobile. They laid tile over all the floors, painted every room and put up new curtains. Uff built the room next to the mobile 20 foot wide, and as long as the mobile. They even bought us a pontoon boat. To go out on the lake with. Oh yeah, and best of all is there's a forest here for us to play in. We sure miss Trask, Sheba, and Barney. Say woof woof to them for us. We hope you will come visit us soon. Thanks again. Ella, Wolfie, and Taco. From Yip. We spend the next few days unloading all our stuff and reorganizing our lives, trying to get the electricity turned on. The dogs were in seventh heaven. They had an entire forest to explore. They were taking turns cooling off in the canal and playing dog games and sunning themselves. Taco and Ella had found a treasure under the mobile home, a dead turtle shell. It was a land turtle. The shell was about a foot around. Taco had one end in his mouth, and Ella had the other. As soon as the other dogs realized what a great treasure Ella had, they ran over to investigate. Pretty soon they were all fighting over the shell. All except the Wah. He was on the couch. After several months living in the forest, we began looking for a boat. This took us about 9 months. We didn't want to end up with the same problems we had with our first boat, so we took our time and really searched for one that would suit us. We found her in St. Augustine and christened her the Margaret Ashton after a saint I mentioned. She is 42 feet long, a Bristol trawler, she was built in 1972. Boats built in the early 70s were still built with quality workmanship and built very strongly. The Margaret Ashton has a 1 inch thick fiberglass hull. She was built to withstand the rigors of the ocean. No matter how tough she was built, she still needed a ton of work. The original owner had put in a cheap teak and holly deck over all. I guess he never needed to get to the engines. The engines needed rebuilding. She had no rub rails or handrails. Lonnie and I spent a week tearing up the crappy floor job. We opened the hatches. There are two and they are four feet by four feet each. When both are open, you can literally stand upright to work on the engines. The engines were seized and had to be rebuilt. We knew this when we bought her. We figured if we had both engines rebuilt, we would, we would know what we were dealing with instead of relying on used engines. They run great now. We also gutted the boat and rebuilt the interior. We added rub rails and handrails, built in an enclosed structure over the deck house, and installed six new cabinets. Lonnie hand carved the cabinet doors. We built a new deck, tiled the galley area, installed a trash compactor, refurbished both heads and one of the two AC units. Installed seven 4x2 solar panels on top of the new wheelhouse, replaced the entire steering station. Added two brand new Odyssey starting batteries, and four master volt batteries for the house system. We rewired everything. Had both wheels refurbished and new zincs added. Had all new cushions cut for the interior and the exterior. I made covers for all of these and made an awning for the aft deck. We waxed the entire boat. Finally, we painted the bottom. We were awaiting launch day. Hey everybody, Dylan here, living aboard with Chihuahua Story 10, episode 29, and part 1. Sub. We were, we were, we did all the work on the Margaret Ashton, which we explained, and it was a ton of work. And we were awaiting launch day. We were real excited because we had, it, it had been five years since we had been on the boat, so we were really ready. Ciao.
Yeah. <laughs>